Medicine has been around for a very long time. Since the, the beginning of the, the written records we have, we've seen that uh, humans have tried to take care of one another and share, whether they shared uh, kitchen recipes or they shared practices around lifestyle to avoid unnecessary sickness. Hippocrates was one of the founding doctors. And he belonged to a school, at the school of Kos. It's believed that a lot of his writings came from the school of Kos, and whether he wrote everything or whether the school wrote it on his behalf, meaning using his brand, because he became a brand as much as a person. They all documented this into Hippocratic writings, exploring the human body and finding ways to, 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 to heal one another. There's one center concept that has survived all this time, and that when you read Hippocrates, all the Hippocratic writings, it comes back a lot during, during the text, and that's ethics. As much as the school of Kos was a medical school and Hippocrates was a doctor, he has this sentence, he has this sentence that says that a wise man should learn to treat his illnesses using his own judgment. The patient should learn to treat his illnesses using his own judgment. It's kind of anticlimactic for a doctor which is supposed to provide that information, provide that path to decision to the patient. It came, of course, from the fact that throughout history, you've had an asymmetry of knowledge between the doctor and the patient. And that doesn't apply just to medicine. It applies to anything that we buy, whether we buy a house or we buy a car. You go to your car salesman and he's going to tell you things. And it's up to you to believe whether the car is used or new to do your research. And there's ways to do your research on how good that car really is. At the end of the day, the idea is to trust the seller because he's going to give you information and you're going to transact, but not rely entirely on the seller, which is that if the seller knows everything and you know nothing, you can see that there is an asymmetry that's enormous. And as a result, as the buyer, you're not in a position of strength. But if you can get closer and closer to the knowledge that the seller has, you go to your doctor and when your doctor says X, you've researched the topic, and you can have a discussion. You can have a discussion that's much more informed, that's much more meaningful, and you can double check that what you hear is what's in the public domain of knowledge. And you can make your decision much more informed, but in addition to be much more informed, with much more calm, with much more trust, both in the provider and in yourself, and that's the message of Hippocrates, which is reduce, reduce that asymmetry of knowledge. When you buy something, when you engage into an important transaction, taking medication is a very important transaction because it's about our health and it's the most important thing that we have, according to Hippocrates. Do a lot of research up front so that you can trust your doctor, but trust by verifying. Cheers.